I think things have finally spiraled out of control. <laughs> Get it? Puns. Simo stole it before I could use it. So, 29 of the top 32 were spiral. I was thinking 21 or 22. Man, my expectations were abruptly destroyed. I'm actually kind of shocked. Um, well, not really. I mean... We all slightly underestimated Spyro, I think. The people that were truly prepared for it were the ones that were massively rewarded going into this event. And it's definitely saying something. Um, it was a bit in denial. Cause, like, I'm not stupid. I've been playing the deck. I know how stupid the deck is. I think I just... What's the proper phrase I'm looking at? I, I think I underestimated... Excuse me. Overestimated. Every other deck in the game. Like Pendulum Magician, Masterpiece. You know, I thought those decks could do more than they actually could come to find out they can't wow pendulum magician <laughs> your best play of uh omega tornado dragon or dweller really looking bad right now so as the format continues to evolve or devolve with more trick stars we'll have to buckle in and uh this might be our last ocg monday for a little while now, even though the format is really Tacky? I think that's the proper term, and in its own way, it's it's evolved. No one wants to watch 32 Spiral Deck profiles. So let's dig into our possibly last OCU Monday for a while. Alright, what is up, YouTube? Chemical 40 here. <sighs> what a metagame Monday. It's probably going to be the last one of these we're going to be doing for a little while because I don't want to do a lot of Spiral Deck profiles for you guys. So this is going to be a combination of discussions, well, a discussion, and deck lists. So you'll you'll get a little bit more than you bargained for. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and talk about what happened at Dallas. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Capital G here. And... Look at the metagame, because I think this this format, everyone was pretty clear you were playing Spirals, but the development of the strategy of the deck, everyone doesn't have any fucking clue what they were doing. And we'll talk about that as we're getting into the Spiralists, because there were Spiral Kaiju, Spiral Destrudo, Spiral Out of Control, like, the, cut the last part, like... There were builds that were playing terraforming that weren't playing their well playing set rotation and terraforming. Uh, they're playing without like the tech choices that the deck could play. I'm actually very impressed by the level of innovation that this format has developed in itself. But the first thing we're going to look at is the top 32 trickster list. Uh, there is also I'm just going to look at um, Ed's list, but if you want to see Ed's list. Uh, he was the invoked player. Um, he top 32 is on DZF's channel. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to take a look at Trickstars here. Uh, triple Ash Blossom, Triple Draw, 1 Gamma Seal, 2 Ghost Ogies, 1 Juzakuru, 1 Kumamungus, 1 Maxi, Triple Kadenia, 1 Lily Bill, Triple Licorice, 2 Cosmic Cyclone, 1 Slumber, 2 Desires, 1 Geki, Triple Scapegoat, 2 Terraforming, Triple Stage, Triple Strike, 1 Terraforming, Triple Reincarnation. Extra deck, Cowboy, Nightmare Shark, Heartland, Akashic, of course, Barrel Load, Decode, Firewall, Ib, Link Spiders, Radiance, Proxy Dragon, and Holly Angel. And then side deck, uh, Zephraxion, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, Dark Hole, Triple Prohibition, tr 2 Shared Ride, Triple System Down, 2 Barrier, and 2 Ending the Nightmare. So here's the thing. Two Trickster decks did make top cut. One went further than the other. But... As an effective strategy to literally burning the opponent and not letting them play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Honestly, this was probably your best call, unless your name is Edception and you're playing the weirdest spice of the format. Literally, Ed can play shit, and that man is either just a genius or one of the luckiest players in the game, but he he's definitely very interesting. Like I said, here's the thing, though. This deck, as an anti-meta choice, was fantastic. But Robbie, you said that Spirals had problems with Masterpiece. Yeah, 
Sometimes they do. Sometimes your deck just is not as good as you hope it is, and sometimes you'll brick. Um, it's the hard scenario of life. Um, I heard the curse of the weekend against a lot of spirals was this format is not very interactive. I'm going to pull up a spiral list here, so it looks a lot better when I'm talking about spirals. The interactivity that this deck gives you with actually forcing your opponent to play the game. Let's be real here, though. All right, so if I open up on some ungodful hand, um, I've actually seen double draw and Lockbird. Actually, one of my hands today at Locals will go with that. I opened up triple quick fix with two machine dupe. Going first. And I did not have my deck in order. This is game two, and I only had one quick fix. So, and my opponent just simply shuffled my deck once, cut it, and handed it back. There was, there was no voodoo stacking there. You know, the deck does brick, contrary to popular belief. But the problem that a lot of people are having with the development of this format, I'm going to be completely honest with you here, this matchup is not interactive whatsoever. At least in the Zoo matchup, you know, me and my opponent would engage with blows. And... This is kind of where I was talking about the spiral thing. Um, if this is Kaiju, your opponent can start to play the game. Um, it depends on what you're ending on, though. To be completely honest, sure, Double Firewall was adorable, but there are things... Some of the builds were playing Voral Load, for example. Some builds are not. Some builds were playing One Firewall. These tech choices, they really were making and breaking the format. Let's be completely real here. And same thing with the inclusion of ABC Dragon Buster. I think every person going into this event, not named Imran or Faisal, I think a lot of people overestimated ABC. I was one of them. I honestly thought ABC at full power could possibly do something. But this deck chews and spits out Dragon Buster. The fact that you can... This is literally just a spec on your radar as you're going up your OTK strategy. No problem whatsoever. So this is the 8th place list. This list is a little bit more different than what I've seen so far. Because um, I believe he's citing Upstart. You can literally... Th this deck looks like a scrub played it. And when I say a scrub, I mean like card choices. No Upstart. Secret Villages. Things are just kind of thrown in here. But if you're winning dice rolls and your deck's doing what it does, I mean, you do you. So triple Ash Blossom, triple Gofu, one Distrudo, triple Draw and Lockburn, one Maxi, triple Drone, one Last Resort, one Master Plan, triple Quick Fix, one Sleepy, two Super Agent, once again, two or three. Depends on your variant. Dragon Ravine, triple Machine Dupe, one for one, Oracle, triple Set Rotation, <laughs> Soul Charge, Big Red, triple Resort, triple Terraforming, Utility wire and rescue. Like I said, I've seen people that weren't even playing wire, and of course, you know, like if they're playing Oracle, you know, like some of them were signing Zephraxion just to out this thing. The side deck down here: triple Winter Cherries, one Dragon Buster, two Village, fully armored, Twin Twister, Upstart, evenly matched, and triple Scolding. Side deck: Ancient Fairy, Coral Dragon, Herald, two Princess Sprite, one Decode, two Firewall, two Gaia Saber, Ib. One Link Spider, Ningrisu, Proxy, and two Double Helix. I didn't see a lot of Triple Helix. I mean, it's probably just to ensure that if they get cherried, nothing's really to give up. But I'm really liking this... I'm not, correction. I'm not really liking this format because it's less interactive than previous Tier 0 formats. I'm liking this format because your tech slots, in terms of innovation within the small cluster of the shell lets you evolve. And that's actually really cool. That's one of the cool things I was looking at at the top four list here. So, looking at this list, this is this is like Jeff Jones level concrete. And if you guys noticed, if you were looking through the top names, Jeff Jones, Billy Brake, they all scrubbed out. No one had a really good weekend because of the format. So, going to this list here, Triple Ash Blossom, One Crow, Doggeron, Triple Draw and Lockbird, Gamma Seal, Kumungus Maxi, Triple Drone, uh, One Last Resort, One Master Plan, Triple Quick Fix, Sleeper, Triple Super Agent, Two Double Summon, One Foolish, One Kaiju, Triple Dupe, One for One, Double Car, Triple Resort, Triple Terraforming, One Rescue. Literally, like, no utility wire, no bullshit with set rotation. I mean, yeah, sure, if he gets evenly matched. I mean, sometimes you just gotta take 
the risk. It's like, does your opponent have it? Triple Ash or Triple Reaper, Triple System Down once again. That that hidden ABC threat. Triple Twin Twister, Triple D Barrier, and Triple Evenly Matched. Extra deck. There's that Dragon Buster. One Dweller. One Recital Starling. A Baguska, of course. Uh, Princess Sprite. Tornado Dragon. Vorlo Decode. One Firewall. One Gaia Saber. One Ib. One Ningrisu. Two Double Helix. And one Topological Bomber Dragon. Another interesting inclusion. Just for the ability to nuke the main monster zone. Um, I definitely like spot removal for this deck. It's also only two effect monsters to make it, unlike Vorload, who requires three. But once again, this particular build doesn't play around evenly matched, as I was talking about in a previous video, with set rotation being the reason why you're playing set rotation is to counter this trash right here, so you just don't auto-lose to it. But... Looking at the level of innovation here, like, I like it, it's spicy. You know, a lot of the builds weren't playing double summon. You literally are picking your poison when you're playing this deck. It's like, oh, what? It's like, oh, oh, what bricks less? Oh, do I play this? Do I play this? It's definitely interesting. I definitely expect London next week to be a lot more evolved than the current format. I mean, pff, fuck, fuck this. If everyone's going to start siding outs, like, that's why I'm not playing uh, Gateway to Chaos. Um, we're not letting our opponents search the good Lord Gaia. But what do you guys think about the clusterfuck spirals? Yeah, I know a lot of you guys don't like spirals. It's fine. I understand. It's cool. You know, no hassle. It's all good. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And later, guys. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.